When you hear the terms adaptive learning and machine learning used together, it's easy to imagine an intelligent robot out of science fiction. The truth about how these products work is both less glamorous and more complex. We asked experts at McGraw-Hill Education to explain the role that humans play in designing adaptive learning products. The adaptive math home homework platform will supposedly help me figure out that my student is having trouble with factoring and that's why she's getting these particular math problems wrong. Let's assume that a student is struggling with factoring. Right? A student has to see or a learner has to see a problem multiple ways at multiple times. So the idea of a for formative assessment feedback uh, has to be regular and constant. One of the things that adaptive learning uh, well-designed systems do is Michael's not getting factoring this way, so we'll try something else. Also how it's not just practicing, but deliberate practice, practice, practice that's spaced out, because you're going to forget. We have to sort of take into account memory decay, things like that. So, you know, the general theme is multiple ways in which material is presented to you uh, and it adapts based on your response uh, and also multiple times, how we sequence it out uh, and, and so on. Can the platform get it wrong? Can it tell Absolutely. me? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so uh, th this is again where the convergence of adaptive learning and uh, learning analytics is going to make this uh, environment more powerful. It's work in progress. We start off with a number of theories. Memory decay is a good example. Uh, Can you explain what that is? Yeah. This, this goes back, the theory about memory decay goes back to over 100 years. The, the idea is that if I see something once, uh, I'm not going to remember it. And it decays exponentially. So a lot, lot of work has been done in how do I present material in a way that people can retain it? There are theories about that, and when we design these systems, our starting point is theory. But what makes it into a science is we, we start to collect the data, what's working, what's not working. Does memory decay in reality match what's in theory? And also different learners learn at different rates. So this is where we're trying to merge theory and practice. And just building on Al's point, this is why the AI and the technology is critical, but the curation of the learning experience is equally, if not more, critical. So we start with a base map of how concepts are related to each other, and we build probabilistic relationships or proximity relationships so that if we're in factoring, we have relationships to other learning objectives or other points of knowledge that we believe have a support, a scaffolding to be able to do this. To Al's point, we start with algorithms, and they're tunable algorithms. It's because of the iterations in use and tuning and the review by subject matter experts, both learning experts and domain experts, that the product gets stronger. So what we're unable to do, and I think what Al and Matt and I don't subscribe to, is there isn't Hal sitting out there mm -hmm. who can just do this. Right? We're not there in the state of the art of machine learning yet. And I don't know if we ever get there. I can't look that far out. But what we do know is if that you have a well thought through design and test methodology in concert with well thought out algorithms based on academic research, we can do good. But it is a systemic approach. And it requires really dedicated people to design not the technology, not just the technology, but actually the learning map. And it requires a highly instrumented experience so that not only the student and teacher are getting feedback, but we as product developers are getting feedback to continually tune. Would you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, just kind of emphasize the fact that adaptive learning doesn't get off the ground uh, until the beginning point is subject matter experts. The, even the knowledge map, the learning map is gone over by our content teams, our assessment teams, with subject matter experts. So there is no how uh, that, that's either the starting point or the end point. It's curation. Yeah.